Hello. Uh, I hope I hope I'm live. I hope this is good. I I found out that I needed to change some settings or whatever. It has been months and months since I have last streamed. Uh, hopefully, I'm just. Uh, I even like last second remembered I had a had a second screen and went and ran and grabbed that. Um, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing good today. Let's see. Uh, nobody's in chat right now. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is. I'm gonna be boomering this up, by the way. Just, just a fair warning. Um, okay. Let's see. We got a few people watching. Looks like I'm good. I'm gonna be streaming Talishar, for the most part. So I'm gonna come over to OBS, and I think I'm just gonna be doing. I think I'll refresh this though. I'm just gonna be kind of trying to join some uh, CC games or starting my own. Uh, I guess we'll just uh, create a game public. Dragon Mommy Supreme. Uh, yeah, I just, I got off work early today and figured, you know what? I've wanted to do some more streaming. I've wanted to do some Talishar. So I figured, I, you know, might as well, just might as well do both. But it has been nothing but technical problems. I got you. I got you. How's it going, Josh? I hope you guys are doing all right. Um, Uh-oh. Is my thing all laggy? Is it all messed up? I hope not. I hope things are good. My Wi-Fi kind of sucks. Ooh, ooh, I am very much favored into this matchup. All right, so we're going to obviously play the Nobrum Gloves, I think, because all my stuff blocks for three, so I kind of like to remove the defense reactions, and I want to put in... I don't even know if I want to put anything else in. Like, I got the Mirror guys to deal with most of their stuff. Oh, oh, they disconnected. They disconnected. Okay, never mind. <sighs> It's a great job in your content. Keep it up. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I've been, oh, I've been a little all over the place with my content. I feel sometimes trying to make as valuable of stuff as I possibly can, but you know, constantly questioning myself as I feel like most people do. Um, but I appreciate that. I've been, I've been trying my best. I'm trying to find that balance of of managing everything as well as a full time job and doing everything else. So, ooh, ooh. Here we go. We got Phi Rising Rebellion. Now this is what this is what I'm prepared for. So we're gonna throw in three this rounds on me, and I think I'm gonna throw in the Command and Conquers. So against Phi, I feel like honestly, I think Rake the Embers is a weak point, and I honestly okay these come back in. Sorry, and I think I think I remove the sigils. Because gaining three against five just isn't enough. You want to block. I definitely don't need... Okay, yeah. I don't know why these... Has anybody else noticed on uh, on FabDB? Oh, that's not it. And I guess that's good there. Is that how I want to do it? I think so. I think so. Let's try this. This is easily my worst matchup. I am... I'm going to get my ass handed to me here. Um, but has anybody else noticed that sometimes on FabDB, your decks are all just like messed up? Um, well, this is shit. I would love to arsenal this, but I think, good God, I'm going to have to keep this in my hand. Fi is evil against Dromai, but winnable. Yeah, I think, I think I have to command and conquer. I think, because I, I need to get Ash Generation going. We'll pitch the, that's not what I wanted to. Oh, can I cancel? Okay, yeah, because I, I, I just realized I should pro, oh, uh, I guess I'd have to pitch it anyways to go to the eye. Yeah, we'll just pitch both. I'm just trying to get in some damage, and uh, I'll keep the eye hopefully for next turn. Yep, they're going to block it. Not really a big deal. Just trying to generate some ash. Going first, kind of kind of poopy, but... And I think I'll pass and turn. Um, actually, do I filter the eye? Like, part of me wants to just filter it now. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to filter it now. I'm going to filter it, pitch the eye, and uh, that's going to generate me... No Ash or anything, but I can kind of pick my next. I actually like both of these against Phi. Uh, so we're just going to keep them. Nice, aggressive. Getting no dragons is always good. And we're going to... Didn't Arsenal, but maybe could have done that better. Don't really have anything to do with these, so we'll just end the turn. Such a good meta. of different heroes. Enjoy videos more focused on meta competitive recently. I love your videos. Are you talking about your love for the game? Yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely looking to get much better. I think we'll do, I guess that. I'll put the eye at the bottom. 
I should have put the, the mirror guy first. And here we go. Here's where I just get beaten up. It's going to be very interesting because, like, first off, I'm I'm just awful at playing Talishar because I just, for whatever reason, I, I can, like, I can be sitting across from, oh, they're playing, like, budget stuff. Never mind. I'm not, I'm not as scared anymore. <laughs> if they're playing budget stuff, I'm not, not as worried. This is probably somebody's actual deck in their, you know, um, yeah. I'm playing my actual deck too, so. Flame Call, that's the one that I reveal from your deck, yeah. So anyways, yeah, um, in terms of the meta, I definitely do want to improve at that, very much so. Um, oh, they undid it. I just, I need to play more. I, I don't have the reps in. I spent so much time trying to get really good at making content, uh, like as good to my my standings, and so I, I just, I've, I don't play as often as I'd like, and I'm actually I'm actually going to be doing uh, some coaching because I just I genuinely want to get good at this game. I want to be able to help players get better at the game and and bring more value. Uh, so I definitely do want to talk about more focus on the meta and competitive. Uh, Thomas, do I like Commoner? I don't really play it. I'm being very honest with you. I don't think Commoner's bad by any means, but I I like I don't get to play as often as I'd like anyways. And at the moment, obviously, I'm focused on CC. I do like playing Blitz. I played a little bit of Commoner, but that was quite a while ago. Maybe if it picks up in popularity, but I, I have a pretty big collection. I sold my Magic collection for like 11 grand, so I was able to just kind of buy into this game. And so because I just, I have everything, Commoner hasn't really appealed to me too much. But I mean, I like that there's multiple formats, so. I love it. Your videos is what's making seriously consider playing Fab. Oh, dude, you, you absolutely should play Fab. Uh, oh, sorry, man. Sorry about that. I'm trying to read my chat while uh, playing this game. Um, I don't know what this person is doing. Okay, so they're attacking me for two. I'm just going to take it. Yep. Popping your mask now. Okay, this is not... <laughs> this is this is uh, very clearly somebody who's probably pretty new to the game because this is not the play to make. Oh my goodness. I mean, even if you had a bad hand, like you really... And just do what you can and then like i'm i'm just gonna eat all this because i can probably pitch sink i mean i might even just pitch this for the doom breaker send the dust up arsenal the sink and just like if it's just gonna be some generic damage it's not that bad i don't really see a reason to block much until i see an on hit maybe but yeah hit me with it i don't really mind yeah i don't really care go for your mask you want to pop it early <laughs> Thomas? Oh, you had people pronounce your name wrong? I mean, I didn't even notice there was no H. Oh, yeah. It can definitely suck when your LGS is far away. I'm not going to lie. Uh, there wasn't one here, so I, I had to drive an hour away um, as well to play Fab for quite a while. But it, it's kind of worth it. Like, if you're able to drive and you're able to, to afford it, like, it's, it's just so much fun. Lava vein. Yeah, you know what? Just, just give me that damage. I'll eat it. I'll eat it for breakfast. I don't even care. <laughs> I'll just play fast and loose with Fi. Um... Why is it, is it just like allowing it to possibly be done? They popped it for assault the wound, that's fine. Like it's all just raw damage. Like yeah, it's early in the game, but I'd like to be able to go. Uh, absolutely, you should start with Talishar. I think that's an, a, a very good decision. Um... I know there's assault the wound coming, but I almost like I really I really don't mind. I'm I'm gonna try this because like every when I play on Talishar too, especially against like a deck like this where like you know they're playing kind of budget stuff and they're popping their mask. I feel like playing just as fast and loose as they are. Let them kind of blow their load turn one, put me to a low life total, and then maybe struggle. Yeah, like they're they're literally just dumping everything in this. For oh, it's zero. Okay. Um. No, just hit me. I don't even care. I'll take all this damage. I'll take all this damage. I'll put yourself... You're blowing your load. I'll let you take it. And then I'm just going to um, turn around. And you've got no armor to defend either. So I can start hitting you with my attacks. And Sure. Give it to me. This is probably not the way to play this deck. But you know what? I'm, I'm more concerned with reading my... Uh, oh. Okay. I guess you guys might experience buffering. It's telling me. I apologize. Wi-Fi where I live is complete trash at this point time of the day um this was again an impromptu stream playing fab is awesome so fun to play with people of dope peppers build a bravo them taking to the battle hardened nice yeah i uh, i'm very much in that position where it's like i need to get practice in uh so we're gonna doom breaker pitching the asvali um god hopefully that this isn't too bad for you guys 
with the if it's if it's delaying too much, please let me know. I'm gonna be. Uh, I really want to try to manage it. Kind of hard to play against. Bravo is fun. Yeah, Bravo can be tough to play against. So we got that, and yeah, you just took it. That's what I expected. We're gonna send the Doombreaker. Uh, we're gonna yeah, he's gonna let it hit. All right. Um, okay, so he could get some on hits, but it's really just snatch. Because he's already popped all of his equipment. So because he doesn't have Mask of Momentum, I feel pretty comfortable setting up. We're going to end. Is it going to let me Arsenal? So just uh, waiting for him. Add a card to Arsenal. And that should end the turn. And there we go. This round's on me. So I can now just block out. Play the this round's on me. Seem to have a turn. There's the Spreading Flames. I mean, I might still lose. I'm at 16. I let myself take a bunch of damage. Uh, it's very much a possibility. I think... This costs one. Do I keep the Ember Maw? Mm. I think I'll let that hit. I'm not really worried about the first three. I brought the Prism Prism Blitz deck because Prism is pretty. Prism's also pretty good in Blitz. Uh, don't build... If you want a fun deck, the Prism Symbiosis build that I have is pretty fun. But it's not, like, the most powerful. So, uh, coming in for two. You know what? We'll throw the Flame Scale in front. Uh, I'll block some damage. Um, I still have the crown to use later, and I still have one block on this. And then we have a take the temple for five. Okay. No attack reactions. Um, hmm. Do I quell? Do I quell pitching this? And then block with maybe sink below, tucking the f ember maw? So I can then just play that this round's on me. But I kind of I kind of like ember maw to attack with. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Because I don't want to, like, waste block. Yeah, you know what? Oop. I think I have to click this. Whatever, I'm blocking. It's not like it matters. Um, I think I'm, yeah, I think I selected Quell. Maybe I use its ability? I'm not sure. Oh, wait. Oh, whoops. Uh, I hope they don't mind. I'm just going to quickly undo. Okay. So it's blocking. I don't care about that uh, sink. I think I'll just trade out the Uvia. Uh, was I trying to quell? Yeah, I'm just dumb. Okay, so we're just gonna, okay. And then that to the bottom of the deck. Choose a reaction. And then I should be able to quell, I think. Huh? You have to click the little pink diamond under it. Oh. Oh, they just reverted the turn. Okay, I take that. Um, pass, throw that out. Yeah, that's another thing. I don't know if any of you know, Quell is like kind of a pain in the ass. Join in play style. I would recommend repositioning your camera. We can't see live tiles. Oh, okay. Um, let me, let me jump over here. Oh, oh, that's my bad. Okay, we'll put it right there. Thank you. Um, or maybe, I don't know where to put it. Like here maybe? Nah, I guess I'll just, uh, kind of put it below. You can kind of see my graveyard in my deck. Uh, maybe I'll make it a little smaller. Is that better? Maybe that's a bit better there. Thank you for the uh, thing. Okay, after you block with sync, it'll ask you to pay. I'm trying to figure it out for so long. Okay, so we got sync. I'm going to sync the Uvia, see what I draw into. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Got 
Got ahead of myself. Okay, yeah. Forgot Forgot that we redid the whole thing. Okay, here we go. I'm boomering this up completely. So that's active. I'll let that go. No blocks. Okay, sync. Pass. Tuck that. Get a burn them all, which I can pitch for that. And then Arsenal. Choose a reaction. Think if I pass. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's actually real. Okay, there we go. Now I can quell for one. Now I know how to use that stupid thing. <laughs> Any tips for building a deck? Um, I will. I usually just go on to um, end of turn. We'll activate this. Make an ash wing. Okay, we're good. Pass. I don't want to activate the furnace. We're good. Um, now, do I play this rounds on me? I think I do, and I float too, because I, I need to get into a red, then I can attack. So I think I play this, pitching the Ember Maw, because I want to arsenal the Fate. Uh, sorry, so if you're looking to build a new deck, what I do is I go to FabDB, and I just look at a bunch of decks that people have. It's I, I think it's perfectly acceptable to even um, build a similar deck that somebody else has. Uh, even copy it, just so you can test it, and then as you test the deck, you make, you make some changes here and there. Uh, make an ash, and now I can start swinging in. So I have no phantasm for the first one, just in case he's got some weird attacks. So we'll go with the mirror guy. I'm going to be playing pretty defensive in most of this game, but again, because he spent so much time like blowing his load at the start, and he's just going to take it all, that's fine. We'll end turn, arsenal, booyah, there we go, there's some good spice. Ronin Renegade coming at me for two. Yeah, I did. I, I want to keep the fate. Um, I think I'll let that hit. Probably going to lose this. It probably wasn't smart to take so much damage earlier, but you know, I like to play fast and loose. I'm still... Uh, I'm, I, I like to experiment a little bit. I like to just see like what I can get away with by using my life total as a, as a way. I usually play far more defensively than this, but you know. All right, there we go. We got a Phoenix Flame in for what one? Or zero? Oh, in for one. That's fine. Kill an Ashwing. I'm not really that worried. Probably Amber Blade for two. Maybe he's gonna kill Mirror Guy. Hey, oh five. Oh hey, uh, how's it going? How's it going, Joey? It's been a little while. I uh Dromai was a target as the attack. See, here's the issue. I've this rounded on me, and I don't want to waste any of my blocks. That's part of the reason why I don't like to do it, but I kind of feel I kind of want to end my turn. Do I block with the sweeping blow? Because I can pitch, burn them all for the Kyloria, and you know, attack, attack, end the turn with a dust up. I think I'm just gonna take it. There's got to be something else coming. He's got all these cards. Yep, returning a Phoenix Flame. Yep, he's going to kill an Ashwing, probably kill Mirror Guy. Blaze Headlong for three. Five block with the Sweeping Blow. Dromai, pass, block with that. Oh, hey, Geeks, how's it going? Lava Burst, booyah, here we go. There we go, now I can finally use my Fate for Scene. I don't think I made the smart play putting a Fate for Scene down there and being like, oh, I'm gonna keep it, and then using the This Rounds on Me. This is actually the very first game that I've used This Rounds on Me. That's kind of one of the reasons why I've just kind of letting him do his thing. And we'll end the turn. Okay, so my turn, we're gonna play Kyloria, pitching the burn them all. It gives me a big... Nice spicy dragon to attack with. Let's trade out an ash. Um, and I think I'm actually going to... He might have a popper. Do I threaten it? Because, you know what? This actually... It's either going to hit and I'm going to get a card. Or it's just going to rip a card or two out of his hands. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he just takes it. Oh, beauty. Oh. Do I play that? Shit, do I play that? Do I play that this round's on me and, and limit his turn again? 
Like, yeah, he's going to get a card. He'll have five cards. It might not be the smartest thing. Maybe I arsenal it. You know what? Because that'll only be minus five on his field. Maybe I wait. Ah, uh, but I'm not... When am I going to get a better turn to play it, though? And I could always arsenal the other card and then just use crown to tuck it and have a full block out and maybe hopefully pressure with my dragons. Because he's going to have to deal with the Kyloria. Like, I don't I don't see him leaving Kyloria out. Ah, you know what? Screw it. We're going to test this. I, I Again, I've, this first time playing this round's on me, so I'm just going to I'm just gonna really test the card and see see what it does. It's easier to... Uh, oh, come on. Why am I one short? Oh, that feels like crap. Oh, if I had one more resource. Of course, I get my one, one of my few uh, three-turn dragons. Kind of need to buy yourself the time. We'll put the burn them all on top. Add that to arsenal. Okay, well, there's a command and conquer. So if I, if I crown, block some, I mean, he's going to get minus one. So when he attacks like a phoenix flame, I'll be able to put it in. Because I'm really not sure if I withdraw my... It's like, do I wait him out? Or do I try and also put the pressure on him as well? Um, that's that's always my issue. Is I'm still trying to figure out like which way I want to go. Um, so I'm actually glad to be facing Fies. But uh, his deck's actually a lot better. Even though he kind of you know used all this stuff to, to go off very early. But I think I might have misunderstood this guy's deck. Maybe he's just kind of smart using different things. Yep, there goes Kyloria. Here comes the Mounting Anger for three. Targeting Mirror Guy. Ah, oh, getting the on hit. Can I also say, is it, maybe it's just me, but I kind of think it's a bit bullshit that it keeps the same combat chain when it's attacking the dragons and you. Like, I, I mean, maybe that's just me, but it always feels a little kind of poopy when it's like, oh, okay, you just get to, like, freely pop all my stuff, and I'm just kind of screwed. <laughs> um... Nope, there's Salt the Wound. Is it hit? That's hit this combat. See, that's what I mean, though. It's like, that's hit this combat chain. You know? I don't think it counts as hitting if he does this. Yeah. Maybe he didn't mean to do that. Brand of Cinderclaw. Next one's Draconic. We're gonna block with these. <laughs> Zero. Attack for zero, block for zero. <laughs> and then coming in for four. Okay, so what's my hand like? Because I want to be able to C and C. So I can pitch Yenderai, maybe play the Sweeping Blow. Pitch the Doom Breaker for two and send the Command and Conquer because he's probably going to arsenal that. And then maybe play the Chromite to put in a bit of pressure. But that's only th three and six. Yeah, I think that's good. I think... But I feel like I shouldn't let myself get so low. What if I pitch? No. Do I take it? Do I just go to three? And have a big turn? Because that's a Phoenix Flame, isn't it? I think so. Oh, I'm playing really risky here. It doesn't make sense in my head. Hey, one fell soup. I'm going to change direction after this thing over here. Everything's the same. Yeah, I, I agree. It's not even just flavor-wise. It just kind of feels like, especially with, like, Mask of Momentum, it's like if you're attacking a bunch of things and then me, it's like, how is this the same chain? Okay, I hope I did my math here correctly because I think I can Sweeping Blow, Pitching the Ender Eye. It's going to get me two Ash. He's probably just going to take the three. Then I can activate the Furnace. We'll Pitch the Doom Breaker. I think, or do I, you know what? Maybe instead of arsenaling, I'm just going to play this thing and swing with it. Threaten his hand. He's just going to take it, right? Because he's, oh, whatever, three damage. Pass. Now, depending on what his arsenal is. Three life means you're still, still means you're alive. Oh yeah, I'm alive. I've actually realized that I'm pretty good at keeping my life. I play pretty fast and lose. It's probably not the best strategy, to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not here saying I'm like a pro player. Um, I am just kind of throwing shit at the wall and trying to see how I can get this to work. Yeah, and then you draw into a hand like this. 
And I was like, cool. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm not going to do anything this turn. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if something goes at the Chromai eventually. Is he... Oh, he's just going to use his... Okay. I'm just going to use that right off the bat. Um, I need to learn Dromai more. This is helping. I need to learn Dromai more. Um, again, I've said it before, though, and I'll say it again. I am so much better in person than I am um, here. Uh, activating Phi, returning a... Phoenix Flame, yeah, that's fine. I'm at three, so I can still take it. Um, I'm going to take that. And, ah, oh, there's the Lava Burst. I can't take all of it, so I do have to block. I'm going to keep the Doom Breaker, because I think that's the most powerful thing that I can keep. But I have a feeling that I might be dead. He's only got four cards, though, so if I can block out, maybe keep something, you know, we'll see how this goes. There's, hey, that was my spoiler card. Oh, look at that. You're going to draw my, but I have a feeling this next attack is probably going to be for something stupid like seven. I don't have Quell anymore. I used it earlier. Maybe not the smartest thing. Um, Phoenix Flame for three. I kind of want to, if I can, if I can, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep anything, but we'll, we'll block with that. Because that would be sick, dropping a Vincerakai. But if I can at very least keep a Chromai, if only this costs zero. But who knows? Maybe I can take like one hit. Yeah, we're just going to block with the Vincerakai. I'm not even going to keep the Temptation out. You named your Uncensored. Yes, uh, my the chat the Uncensored channel started out as just a way for me to make extra content here and there when I had random video ideas. Um, now, I'm just going to... It sucks, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that one. Oh, there's the Snatch. I think he's got this. Um, block with that. We'll block with that. Pay one. Make an Ash. Does he have it? Yep, Snappies. There we go. GG. All right. Playing Fast News. I mean, I got him down to nine. I, uh, I, I, I decided to try. Oh, and I also, uh, thanks for the help with Quell. All right. Give him a big thumbs up for that. Good luck on future games. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I left already. Um, rather be on three life with the potential to change momentum over blocking and staying at seven and keeping yourself on the back foot. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I probably shouldn't have um, taken so much damage in the early game. Sometimes I like to just, like, again, when I, especially when I'm playing here on Talishar, this is where I feel it's perfectly fine to be like, you know what, let's see where this goes. Let's see where, you know, let's throw myself in, take one one line of play, and if it screws me over, it screws me over, right? Because I'd don't. i rather do it here than when I'm actually at ProQuest. I'd rather get that practice in and learn from my mistakes this way. Um, you know, I, uh, I also, I don't know, there's just something, like, when I'm playing in person, maybe you guys are like this, when I'm playing in person, I find it's... I, I am so much more on point. Like I actually read my cards more. I actually can, you know, pay attention to all the armor and it, it just, there's something about Talishar where I just feel like it's like, ah, whatever, I'll just do this, just do that, don't care. Not not really sure what it is. Maybe I'm just, maybe there's something wrong with me, but uh, classic, let's just see. Uh, we'll submit Dragon Mommy Supreme and ooh, Dash. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, do I even need to switch anything for Dash? All right, good luck, have fun. Two. Um, I don't know if I even need to switch anything from Dash. Mistakes, making mistakes on Talisher is nothing, just more learning. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. It's like, this is where I'll just do dumb stuff in order to see. I think Dash is going to go Burr, so I think I removed, like, these dragons. These aren't even supposed to be in here. I don't know why they're in the main board. They're supposed to be in the sideboard. Even, even like, like FabDB does this, where it's like, why, why are there three Oasis for Spites? I only have two in the deck. But for whatever reason, FabDB has, like, extra copies. I think I'm just going to try these. Love your channel. Oh, thank you. I think, I think I'm just going to play the Command and Conquers. I'm just starting his arsenal. Same here. I care less about online games. Good chance to try things. Ooh, Dash. Yes. Ready. We're going to try it. Depending on the dash. Yeah, I don't know what dash this is. Oh, wait, what? Okay, there we go. Everything's loading. Just uh, phased me out for a moment. Ooh, this looks like it might be pistol. Okay, so they're going to try, I think, the fatigue route, um, which is fine. Steam counter. Yeah, because I'll use Kylorius to try and steal it. 
Um, good on controlling the dragons themselves, but if I can get in with Kylorias. If they don't... Yeah, you know what? I actually don't mind that they don't really do anything, because this hand's not that bad. Um... I think I'm going to pitch the Asvali. Get those two Ash. And then I'm going to activate the Flame Scale to tuck the Vincerakai to attack with Ember Maw. I'm just going to try to put a little bit of pressure early game on them. Possible Mechanoid. I hope if, if they don't mech suit, you steal it. I'm more confident trying things in Talisher because I look and feel like an idiot alone by my computer. Yeah, actually, you're probably... Oh, no, no, no. They can't be the mech because they don't have... They, they've got the crown instead. Um, we're going to pass... I don't think I need to Arsenal right now. Again, I'm at four. I kind of want to just... I want to pitch this, make the make the two, and then swing him with the Ember Maw for six. Um, that way, Vincerakai's on the bottom, and if I get a blue, I can hopefully pitch stack it with it. Because if they're going to try to fatigue me, having a Vincerakai for the late game is incredibly strong, especially if I can get them to use up some of their armor. Uh, then they have to block with two cards, or they take a bunch of damage. So I think... I think that's what I do. So yeah, I want Asvali first, that on the bottom. See, there we go. There's an Eye of Aphidia that I can pitch to the Mirror Guy and I can block with these two. Or I can pitch to the... It's probably better to pitch to this. How much are you coming at me for? Three? They do have an Arcane Barrier. Oh, do I pitch... Oh, I think I block with Mirror Guy. No... I'm going to wait and see what they do because I'm just going to pitch to this, but I kind of want to have a burn. Them. Actually, maybe I... I'll take... Uh, boost, banished, BIOS update, and did Grant go again? Okay. We'll pass. This is red 0 to 60. I don't think they have... Dash doesn't really have any on hits though, is it? It's all just like... Why do they have the arms when they have the crown? I, I have no idea. Um, hmm. You know what? I think... Oh, God. But I want to play the late game. I think I block with the mirror guy. Because then I can arsenal to burn them all. I can literally just Ember Maw. Because uh, I have Vincerakai at the bottom. And then arsenal to burn them all. And then possibly crown it. So I'll have a Vincerakai eye and a burn them all kind of stacked together. I hope that's... Right. Oh... Choose three cards. Here we go. This sucks. Well, that throws a huge wrench in my plans. I might have to, like, play the burn them all to pitch the eye or something. I don't know what they're going to do. Yep. Mm. Yeah, Pulse Wave Harpoon. I'm just going to be honest with you. Like, oof, rough hand. Very. I, I I also am thinking about just taking the eye out, to be honest with you. There's a... Oh, God. The eye is uh, interesting. I wanted... My, my theory behind it is... Uh, hmm. Can't really do anything. Yeah, this hand is garbage. Pulse Wave Harpoon, though, I will say, feels like a bit of a... One of those cards that's like... It just kind of feels a little too good. I think I'm just going to pass. <laughs> I'm just going to... I want to keep... Oh, do I keep the eye in hand? Because I could crown it. No. There we go. There's a CNC at least. Yeah, hey, uh, make your stuff. I'll take some damage here. I mean, they are at 31. I did deal them some damage, so I mean... Uh, that's the plus one. Yep, that's fine. Put your pistol... It's fine. If I'm mostly going to see and see... Actually, I might keep this. Unless I have a Pulse Wave Harpoon. I'm just going to take it. I don't really care. Yeah, you can hit me for six with your pistol and then Arsenal or something. I don't know. I actually don't mind that. Because I can Sweeping Blow and then Command and Conquer. Actually. Yeah, Sweeping Blow, Command and Conquer. Yep, give it go again. Whatever else you send. I think I'm going to... Yeah, activate, activate, activate. And play a Tekla Core. Okay, so I keep the Burn Them All. But I can still use my hand. So I'm going to attack with Sweeping Blow. 
I'll keep the dust up maybe. It's not a bad card, but I kind of want to make the ash. Yeah, we'll just make the ash. Because then I can eye, command, and conquer, target their arsenal. Fab speculation. Do we think Tunic will drop in price after Quo Pro Quest? It probably will. Uh, cards typically go up for these type of uh, seasons. Um, whenever it gets more competitive, like any time, when, uh, when like Skirmish came around, cards for... Um, Cards for, what's it called? Um, Blitz started going up. Like, I think it's just it, it's just the nature of the game. This is a player's game after all, so. And now I will command and conquer, pitching that. And now I can at least set up. Uh, I want that to the bottom. Chromai's good. I have five Ash, so that's a, that's a threatening card. Could also rip a card out of their hand. There is, so they have something important in their arsenal if they don't want to lose it. Versus me having a garbage-ass card in my arsenal. Um, we're going to end the turn. I could have uh, could have been cheeky and activated the flame scale for no reason, but Teclo Pounder is that from the Arsenal? No. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm in an okay position here. Tunic should drop Tunic unless it gets a reprint. The new player is a quality. It's just not there to support demand. Um, it also depends on what you're playing. If you're looking to play CC and you need a Tunic, that's fine. If you're playing Blitz, don't go for Tunic. It's not even worth it. Oh, this is a this is a hand and a half. I really want to play the Chrome Eye, but I almost want to... Maybe I play... Okay, maybe I play Chrome Eye. And I attack with it. Because even if they pop it, I have the action point. They're going to payload. Popping it. Okay. Play Kyloria. We're going to pitch that. Get rid of this. Swing with it. They might have the popper as well, but I'm not entirely sure. T-Bone. Okay, they're going to throw... Stuff in front. I think, oh, like as much as I want to use the burn them all, I think next turn is the turn. If they're going to come at me with a bunch, I think next turn is the turn I crown. And I kind of want to keep the sand cover because I kind of want to be able to just boost. Hey, GG, I was on five. Oh, hey, hey, you missed it. I was, uh, yeah, you were, uh, you, I was very much testing kind of playing uh, fast and loose. How are you, Cappy? Um, or Cape? Yeah, I assume Cappy is how you would pronounce it, TCG. Um, thank you for the game, by the way. We're very well played. I, uh, you know, obviously didn't play as well as I could have. So, gonna kill Kyloria, give it go again. Okay, that's fine, yeah. I kinda knew Kyloria was gonna eat that up. I really hope you attack me finally. Or are you just gonna, like, charge everything up and pass? And play another one. Okay. I guess I shouldn't have kept that. But, whatever. We are now in a position. Maybe I won't now. Maybe I just go all out. Let's see what he does if I attack with the Dune Breaker... Pitching the dust up because it has go again. Just going to take it. Because he's very clearly setting up for a big turn. But if I can keep some pressure on. Because I can threaten 11 this turn. And that's pretty good. Yeah, I figured uh, it's my work in process file. You almost brought it back to the with the TRM one and stuff. Are you on the DMR model list? I am not. I am. I played his list for a little bit, but uh, not the royal one actually. I did play aggro draw my for a bit, but I went back to the dragon control. I think the aggro is better into Fi though, because you can kind of keep up a little bit better. And I think I just yeah, because I, I like again. I want to keep this sand cover uh, for when he swings in with something, I want to be able to just blank it and not even let it let it hit. Um, it's also very good against like a pulse wave harpoon. But if I've already blocked with the rest, um, it's your work in process Fi deck. It's actually pretty good, I will say. Um, again, I think again my mistake was that I just played fast and loose. I should have been a little bit more defensive in the early game. So he's gonna take all that damage. Oh, that's good. If I can just keep this hand, that's kind of solid. Do I just take a bunch here? It's gonna be for eight. Oh god, here's a big turn. Eight. I want this out. I'm just going to do it now because I, I need this burn them all out. It's not helping me um, at all. We're going to get rid of the arsenal. Draw. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. There's the Tomotai. Okay. Oh, this is getting spicy. We'll see where this goes. See if I can survive this turn. He's going to attack me a few times with the pistol for three, which, I mean, that's not even that bad, to be honest with you. Maybe sand cover is not even needed, but I can pitch it to the freaking Kylorias anyways. Let it hit. 
fair way to get some testing in. Yep, no, that's that's exactly. Like when I was playing against you, I was like, I'm going to pick this strategy of trying to aggro you down as well and try and play the fast game with you. And uh, it didn't work. <laughs> but that's why that's why I'm doing this is I'm trying to I'm trying out like different strategies. It's kind of against Dash. Like for instance, I've actually never faced a fully built Dash. That's part of my problem is that at my LGS, it's a bunch of more casual players. So, because this can play one, two. Uh, do I? Maybe I can Arsenal this after though. Like, I don't really care about just taking punitive damage off this thing. Give it go again, and I have a feeling that now it's just going to be charging up everything. Yeah, make an extra resource. Yeah. Charge up pistol, charge up that. Oh, oh, that's interesting. What are you fetching out of the pounder? Yeah, there's the pounder. End turn, okay. I don't think I play the... Oh. My problem is, is if he has payload. I think he's already used two. Let me look. Just dash stuff. He's used two payloads. So what are the chances? I swear to God. And one zero to 60. I swear to God. Oh, and he's got throttle too, though. Maybe I should have ran the, uh, the item. Oh, this sucks. I want to play both because if he has the way to pop it, I want them on the field because it'll, it'll take him. He'll, I'll basically get a free turn where he's like, crap, I got to kill the Kylo. Actually, he'll probably just kill me. If he doesn't have the popper, this is pretty good. Oh, looks like he might not. Does he crown? No, T-bone. Okay, there we go. That's kind of what I wanted. So now that he's used up a bunch of his armor, I think this is where I activate the thing and just get rid of the Tomal tie because I don't really need it in this matchup, I don't think, right now. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I already had a resource. Shit. Oh, well. I didn't even realize that. Um... Yeah, whatever. Oh, and there's a Dominia. Oh, this is not a good hand. I didn't see a thing. <laughs> and here's the pain. February is not as buggy. I heard FabDB. Yeah, FabDB, I have to, like, even even here on uh, Google Chrome, like, for whatever reason, I normally use um, Firefox, but I, I was having trouble with it. I find that both these sites only really work properly on Chrome. Yeah, there goes a Kyloria. Figured as much, yeah. Threatening some of his hand. The problem is that I don't have a good hand. I mean, I can rake the embers and play a burn them all, but this is not a hand I can really threaten back with, which is very unfortunate. Um... Yeah, there go my Kyloreas, which again, that, that kind of blows. Oh, okay, that was his turn. At least, at least, yeah, this is kind of what I was trying to do is uh, try to survive. Okay. I think I play the Rake, obviously pitching the Tomal. Pass. Make some Ash Wings. I think here's where I play a Burn Them All. And we're going to start swinging in. He could pop and end my turn. But I have a feeling I'm about to die. I still have my furnace. I still have Quell. I still have this. This is in hand. But I'm wondering, do I keep it in hand or do I just try to cycle it out and try and like sift through my deck? No, I think I keep it because I, if I can survive... Uh, we'll just get rid of that. Okay, there's a blue. If I can take it and just keep this... Actually, I might just get rid of these two, honestly, and just Vincerakai. There's a... Oh, God. Yeah, this is the turn I die.
There we go. There's a high octane. Bios update. Oh, God. What am I getting hit for? And if he's got a pulse wave harpoon at the end of, like, a big chain or something. Do you think their hybrid deck that went for pistol control for draw my Probably. See, one of the issues, too, is that I think I've got a decent fundamental understanding of the game. My main issue is that I just, again, I play mostly at my LGS, and it's a bunch of, like, it's a bunch of new people. Nobody's really all that great. And so, in fact, if I'm being very honest, I'm typically the best there. Holy shit. Unless that happens. Did not grant go again. Ooh. Lucky day. I survive. Oh, okay. What do I need for a big turn? Because I almost want to... I think Vincerakai can threaten way more than Dominia. Because that'd be Dominia. I could block three in sand cover. But I don't want a sand cover. At all. I almost think I should block six and just Vincerakai and swing in for a big hit. Maybe poke in with an Ashwing first to test out if he's got the popper. But, but then Dominia can just get rid of it. Play Tome of Fiendal. I don't, but I've thought about it. Um, hmm. I, oh, this could be wrong, but I think I'm going to test. I think I'm going to, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it for the Vincerakai. What? Oh, he had the extra action point, right? Okay. Forgot he had the action point from uh, high velocity or high octane. So there's still going to be stuff coming this turn. Oh. Okay, give him a second to reconnect. They've disconnected. Okay, Tome is the truth. Yes, Duvin Sarai. Um, play Tome. Data set to the deck usage when rates go with good and bad in my local area. Seems to promote same net decks. Do you think the hybrid deck that went for pistol? Yeah, I... Um, I, I have thought about running Tome. I actually did at one point, but I, I don't know. I, I found it kind of clunky, but at that time, I was still trying to like really maximize on the big dragons, and I think that was probably my mistake. <laughs> my biggest issue, again, like I said, is, is, is purely just reps. You know, I really need to uh, get some more reps in and really practice my matchups because, you know, the way that I've been going about it is not good. I think I'm just dead here. Like, I think this gets me because I, I, I only have the Ash and the Sand Cover. I put Sand Cover back in the deck at one, but I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I should take it out. Maybe I should play the Tome and go far for, like, really lean into the control aspects. This is why I'm testing the deck. Yeah, because this is the thing is going down to one Ash with the Sand Cover and I need it to play the Vincerakai. Maybe I just block this turn out. Oh, I'm going to block some damage so I don't die. I just want to be able to Vincerakai and hope he doesn't have a popper. Because if he's got a popper, I'm screwed. I think I can survive this turn. And I might be able to threaten it enough. Because there's three with another technically nine threatened. But he might just take it and then kill me. So... Uh, out of curiosity, Fab, what is the deck that prevents your opponents from doing anything? Uh, there is... Uh, Icelander, I think, is the best deck. Icelander and Old Him to a degree. Ice decks, essentially, are the ones that kind of shut down your opponent. You can make their stuff cost more. Um, you can really threaten them that way. Um, that's that's really all about it. You can't really truly, sh you know, like, shut shut down the opponent. Like, say, you can't play at all. I mean, there are some effects, but thankfully, it's it's more based upon the resources. Which, I mean, again, some heroes absolutely can. Um, what is going on? Oh, he's just adding counters to everything. Man, this is so dumb. This is so dumb. And another attack. I thought he was done. Jesus Christ. Okay. It's my first time playing like a fully built dash deck. I, one of the owner of my LGS does have one, but again, it's, it's, I'm really starting to learn how, uh, how cushy I've had it so far. That's going to use my last one. Okay. Let's just see if he has it. I'm just going to, oh, fuck. Oh, well, you know what? Fuck it. I take the L. I literally wasn't even thinking. I mean, I kind of forgot, you know, kind of got to play my red dragon first. Do you want to go back?
Okay, perfect. Thank you. I mean, I'm probably still losing this, but... All right. No. Uh, can I undo? Oh, you know what? We'll just... Uh, oh. Previous turn. Okay, yeah. Using up my Ash. Then I wanted to attack with the Ash Wing. We're all getting reps in. No worries. Like, genuinely speaking, I, I am... I feel so dumb when I'm playing on Talishar because I I very much play... I, I, I don't know. It's something about it. When I'm playing in paper, I find I can focus on everything so much better. But when it's all just these images, it all, to me, it just kind of blends together. Maybe it's because I've been playing card games since I was like 11. Um, and then, yeah, if he's got the popper, here's where he uses it. I think he just takes it, to be honest. He goes to three and he can just kill me. Like, he's got more than enough to do so. And I, I've got this stupid sand cover that I can't even utilize unless I'm able to, like footsteps for some reason actually till end of turn that actually might not be the worst thing we'll banish oh, i've already used my kylo as whatever it doesn't really matter i don't have ways to get him back yeah activate that activate zipper hit how much is this this is going to be like 15 i'm basically dead i swear Nine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. There's no way I'm surviving this. Yep. Uh, yep. Think you've killed me? Well, you did. <laughs> I'll gain the four and then take four. Oh, there you go. Uh, give him a thumbs up. Guy was nice. All right. Whew. Kind of feels good to lose, though. Again, uh, like... I don't know if anybody else has that, but... Because, like, when you're playing at your locals and... And, like, I'll be very honest with you. I might... I might, um, I might be losing here. I might be having a bad showing, but if you would believe it or not, I've won probably about 75% of the armories at my locals, you know? And that's one of the things I've realized is that when I'm not around better players than I am, it's very difficult to improve, which is why I need to use Talishar more. But I've quite literally only started using Talishar in the past, like, week, maybe? Um, slowly ramping up my game. So I'm hoping that within the next week or so, I'm, I'm a pretty quick learner. So I think once I really apply myself and I actually sit down and really start to get the reps in, I think I do have the potential to get a lot better at the game and in a pretty short amount of time, but you know, okay, let's, let's, let's read some chats first before I get into another one. Out of curiosity. Oh yeah. Okay. I read that. You give every monster has the ability to say no. I actually, uh, Angerid. Angerid, I think is how you would pronounce your name. Um, I actually I actually do know that. I did play Yu-Gi-Oh! That was my first TCG when I was 11. Um, and I I don't play it as much. Actually, I haven't played it since I picked up Fab. But I have... I, I am very well aware of the way that Yu-Gi-Oh! has gone. And one of the things uh, I think Flesh and Blood has a big strength in is that I think it actually can very much appeal to Yu-Gi-Oh! players. Because it gives you... In Flesh and Blood, especially when you're playing heroes like Fi or Dash or you're setting up stuff. And then you have those big bombastic turns. That's like the most fun thing to do in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and as you said, shut people down, which we also have that, but you have to actually work for it. Cause the problem with Yu-Gi-Oh is that if, if like the opponent can't stop you making an unbreakable board and they don't have like a, what is it? Dark ruler no more or something like, you know, it's very, it's very much like you either completely dominate or you get completely dominated, you know, or you, you try to completely dominate, you get stopped and then everything just fizzles. And, and that's how I felt Yu-Gi-Oh had gotten. And so I'm very glad that I have this game. Your analysis of lines and whatnot is solid. No doubt you'll get there. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, I like I said, I think I think my fundamental understanding of the game is pretty solid. And I think that's just because I've been playing them for I've been playing them for more years than I haven't been. Um, but yeah, it's it's literally just the reps. It's for me, it's it's quite literally just understanding what the hell these decks are even trying to do, which is again, why I need to to sit here and play on Talishar. Let's see if there's some Fi game. Um, let's let's just join this. Am I excited for the Yu-Gi-Oh! 20th anniversary? Absolutely not, personally. Um, 
Bravo. Ooh. And I'm not playing the ghostly touch. So fun fact, I actually swapped out the ghostly touch earlier um, in order to play. But I, I know I need to play these. I think I need these. There's only supposed to be two. I don't know what the problem with um, the stupid thing is. Um, hmm. Oh, this is tough. I think I removed the blue ember moss. Easy. 63. Three more. Because what did I put in? Do I remove the sigils? I think I might. I don't know. Do I remove the sigils? Like, part of me even just wonders, do I remove the doom breakers and just try to pressure with dragons? Like, I feel like I kind of need to. Actually, I think I don't play these. And I don't play that. I think I just stick with the defense reactions. Could be wrong, but... I'm not playing the ghostly touch because I never use ghostly touch. Like I've never, I've never really gotten it off. Um, and I've always found that I've either won or lost before I'm even ready to use it. Player one will go first. Yep. You got the dominate. So that makes sense. We'll select this deck. I've just got these. I do like the mage master boots for these, but I decided to take all that out so I could play that this rounds on me against Fi because I felt like I'm probably more likely to go into Fi, but some people are now saying Bravo. And that's, that's my big issue is trying to figure out the lines of play. It's kind of like with the Eye of Aphidia. I'm really trying to test it, but you know, this is the issue though with playing a deck like Dromai where it's like you have some really good easy matchups and then you have some just atrocious ones. And I'm finding I'm the most popular decks right now, most of them except for maybe Icelander, are the most like like Old Him, Bravo. Um, I mean they're not they're not awful, but you, they are winnable, but they are kind of difficult. All right, turn one. I got a sink here, but I don't think they're going to be doing much. Yep, getting a showtime, finding their card, arsenaling it. That is. Oh, God, that actually feels so gross. This best weapon is rotating soon, which will slow him down. Yes, you go full dragon. That is my experience. Hmm. Well, this blows. This isn't even a red. The guy didn't attack. He just got like a perfect setup for, this first, for the start of his turn. And I'm going to be swinging him for two. Maybe he takes it and gives me an ash, but chances are he'll just block it if he's smart. Oh, maybe he's not. Maybe he's got, like, the god hand. Okay. Not going to transform it. We're just going to... Oh, I probably should have furnished. Whoops. Past the instant. Whatever. See, again, these are stupid things where it's like, I don't make these mistakes when I'm playing in paper. I'm very aware of absolutely everything that's going on. I, it's just something about playing on the computer that just, you know, I'll get used to it eventually. I think it's just that I haven't played too much, but I, I do dumb shit like that that I never do in paper. There it is. Dominate, Crippling, Crush. Just... Okay. Not Dominate. He's got Pummel. Probably a red pummel. Um, you are at 11, so 3, 6, 9. Um, that would put me to 12. And then I could sink below if that's what he's got. Play, actually. Fuck it. Didn't give it dominate. Don't care about your pummel. What are you going to do? Use it now. You'll have it later, but... You need to do is dominate into the champ and ignore the dragons. As long as you draw blues, you generally win the race. Couldn't furnace, you played a blue, not a red. Right, that's why. Okay, never mind. Oh, I, I mean, feel feel free to, yeah, make me discard three cards that aren't in my hand. Okay. I mean, you dealt me three damage. I would have I would have just arsenaled the, the pummel, so. Yeah, back to you. There's the eye. I, I really, I'm really starting to, you know, my, my whole theory, why not use footsteps against the pistol? Because I'm an idiot. I said it was my first time facing Dash, and I wasn't even really thinking about the fact that I probably could have been using him to block one damage every single time just for one pitch. I'm dumb. Now that after that game, it's like, oh yeah, that's a thing I can do. Um, so, th again, my my I said it. I know I said it a couple times, but my my biggest issue absolutely is is just not getting the reps in. Once I get enough games, I think I'll be all right. But it's going to be a little bit. Has go again. Pitched a buckling blow. Um, is it going to tell me it's attack? Six. Okay, so it does. 
I can play the Uvia, but there's really no point. I almost want to, like, I might just block with it. No. I'm not going to block with it. I'll take the five, because there's got to be something else coming. He's got to be coming in with a bigger attack, even the Anothos. I'm probably going to sink below so I can tuck the stupid eye. I, I wanted to play this because I, my, my whole theory behind it was using this to help set up the top of the deck for the big dragon attacks, but it really hasn't panned out the way I wanted it to. Oh, God, go again. Okay. Um, he's probably just going to swing an Othos at this point, so I think it's safe to... I think it's safe to sink the eye. Get a... Pa okay, that's not bad. Passing Mirage. Oh, it's not good with Dust Up. So if he swings the hammer, I might just block with Dust Up and the Uvia. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go defensive here for a moment. We're going to pass, block with those. I'm going to arsenal the, the Rake. Because it's not a bad card. I'm probably just going to have to crown it, but maybe I'd let it sit for a turn, and I'm going to play the Passing Mirage and just pass, even if it eats an attack from him. Unless he's got a bunch of go again, that might help him. But it might just eat one of his attacks. It might force him to, to kind of pass his turn. There's another one. Uh, the Mage Master Boots would be nice, and maybe I have to adjust my arsenal to play it again, but... There's no effects of Forest Crested, Reaping Blade. Why not use Footsteps? I have a Whack Chain Commoner deck with Pummels. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yep, activating that. Is he setting up or is he just doing it for this turn? Oh, there's the Spinal Crush. Is it dominated? No. Don't know if he's playing C&Cs. Because I almost want to save the crown for that. I could maybe... What is my turn like? I can probably play Yenderai and then play this and swing with it and then play the Passing Mirage. So maybe I just block with Rake? No, because I need to go again. Shit. Do I block with six? He doesn't have... There's no way he's got something. Because I would love to play two Passing Mirages because it allows me later to kind of have them sitting and then start playing more dragons and just kind of be safe. Because eventually he's just going to freely pop one of the Passing. So it's like, do I just take this time to eat some damage? Maybe I just block with everything. Suck up some damage, play this, and then end. Because he doesn't have Dominate. I think that's the better play. I don't really need any of these. It's not like they're the most necessary. And I think I just save some damage. Keep my life total somewhat high. And then... That gives me the crown, the furnace, whatever my next hand is. And then I've just got... Two of these. So now there's no way he can pop them both in the same turn. Okay, see, this is a hand that I like to see. I've got Kyloria, I've got a Mira guy. Um, even a Doombreaker Senapai. So I can maybe play that and then play the Kyloria, which isn't... Might have added side of the lightning strike to go wider. Probably it's. I think that's the. Um, I think that's definitely the the way to go against Dromai, especially if you're looking to beat her. Is the go again allows you to deal with all the dragons because it's it, like you have to. Um, if you don't, you're you can the Dromai player can put you in a position where if they get you with the Chromai's, Mirror guys and passings, and they have a turn where they just you don't have enough poppers, all of a sudden you're taking like twenty damage. Um, attacking me. I think this is where, oh, but I, oh, okay, you're doing go again. I'm just going to take it because it's got go again. So there's got to be something else. If it's the hammer, not a big deal, but I want to wait and see if he's got some big crush attack. Like I just don't like using my effects of like crown unless it's to help block those on hits. Ah, oh, there's the pump. Oh, wait. Um, that kind of sucks, but, uh, okay. I didn't see that coming. I should have maybe, but. Hmm. I think I, I think I get rid of this because I want to try and pitch the Vincere Kai for later. I think I'm going to rely on Kyloria here. Ah, uh, there's the hammer. I think I'm going to pop the rake. I got to get this out of my arsenal. This is, uh, I'm going to come across a Bravo that runs E-Strike. You have to be super careful how many reds they run and CCs tend to take the spot. Yeah, that's the thing is I don't know if they're even playing that. I think I'm just going to crown here. I'm going to take some damage, but I really need to get rid of this card. Uh, I don't want to play an instant. No. 
and we will get rid of that. There we go. Oh, beauty. Okay, that's that's a little bit better. Chromize and with Kyloria, that's that's what I want to see. Now we're getting some of the spicy dragons. It's not even into the second turn cycle or second uh, pitch cycle. But now, okay, I have to do this carefully because I only have one Ash, and I'm probably going to play this pitch Vincerakai, activate the furnace, pitch the mirror guy. Now I have more Ash. I'm going to swing with the Kyloria. He's probably just going to block with armor. Probably not the crown, but I imagine these two, so we can keep his hand or a three block in his legs. That's what I would do, whichever, depending on what his hand's like. Macho Grande, no Phantasm. So, yeah, there's the legs. Now, here's the question. I'm going to... Mm, oh, or do I Arsenal the Chromai? Because he might deal with the Kyloria. And then that way on the next turn, if he does, I at least have something that's a zero for red. I think that's a smarter play. Like I'm lower, I'm way lower on life, but the, the whole like Bravo versus Dromai matchup is just trying to get your board position set up where you get that one turn that they just, you get through and it's like, here's like 18 damage in one turn, you know? So it can go from, I can be at like 10 and all of a sudden I'm hitting them for like 50. There we go. There's the nine. No go again. Dominate. I can block for six. Take three. Not a problem. Uh, we will block with the furnace. Block with the furnace. There we go. It's lagging a little bit. Pass. No reaction. Fate for scene. Pass. I'm going to keep that on top because I would like more ash because I'm going to go down in them. Pass. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I think... I think I play Kyloria, pitching the Sigil. Pass. Yep. We're going to attack in. No Phantasm. That's probably going to take his armor. And then I can Chromai. Probably take a popper out of his hand. Yeah, there we go. And the tectonic, I assume. There we go. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly what I would have done. Because that's the other thing, is if I can make him eat up his armor now in the later game, I can then turn around. And again, if I can get a board presence set up, that's the whole point. That's the whole goal here. I think I chrome eye. And now I attack him. If he doesn't pop it, I get an action point. But if he does pop it, I still get the turn, and then I can threaten with Kyloria. And that might take another popper, but then he probably doesn't really have anything to swing back with, and I still keep something of a board presence, um, possibly with playing the Asphalai. But if he doesn't pop this, and if I can get in with Kyloria and he's letting it hit, I'll pitch this to get the extra resource. So, Oh, is he trying? Is that what he's doing? Maybe he's going to pop the Kyloria, but my turn doesn't end, so I can then arsenal the Asphalai. Hopped in just to say hi, and guys in sleep are making great content. I hope you'll keep up the great work. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Um, I also plan on possibly, I'm going to try to stream a little bit more too, so hopefully you can you can join us in. Oh, wow. I've been streaming for over an hour. Holy crap. Yeah, nice. Oh, it's 4 o'clock. Okay. I probably, do, after this game, I think I may have to go. There's the Phantasm. That's fine, and that's a really good card. I'm not going to play this because I don't want to eat up my last Ash, so I'm just going to add this to Arsenal, and Okay. Here we go. If I can keep the Sweeping Blow and Vincerakai, holy crap, no Phantasm on that, that's going to be a threat. That's going to be a threat to him because he doesn't have much left for his block. This is probably going to be a setup turn. I imagine he might hammer the Chromai maybe because the Chromai basically gives me an extension of a passing. Um, Dromami, hell yeah. Hell yeah, it is. I've lost two out of three games, so we'll see. We'll see how well I can do here. Oh, there's the CNC. Do I care? Do I really care about the Asphalai? I don't think I do. He might have a... Oh, he can't have a Pummel because he doesn't have the resource. I don't think I care about Asphalai. I will I will happily lose that because I can pitch Billowing to Sweeping Blow and then pitch Sweeping Blow to Vincerakai. Um, or no, pitch Sweeping Blow to Vincerakai, have no Ash, and then do the Sweeping Blow. So I keep the Phantasm. Okay, that's big brain. Got a big brain play this. <laughs> Can't make those mistakes. You're streaming on top of playing. Your full attention isn't on the game. It's tough to do both. Yeah, I will admit it is It is a little bit harder to play. 
um, while trying to pay attention to the stream. I haven't been reading comments as much. I'm kind of glad I have a smaller audience and it's not a million things going down the line. Okay, got to do this right. Play the red, pitch the blue, pass, activate the ash. I'm swinging with this first. No phantasm. It's either going to eat damage or you're going to take a bunch. I'm at eight, but I need to start closing out this, this, uh, I need to start closing it out. I've got the board presence now. If he's not going to respect it, this could go very poorly for him if I'm able to block enough. I'm now going to swing with sweeping blow, pitching this, passing, making another ash, making two ash actually. Wait. Oh yeah. Cause I, I didn't have any. Forgot I had to eat it up. Now I'm going to swing with the Chrome Eye, because if he pops it, then whatever, I still have an action point. And even if he pops the Kyloria again, my whole point here is I'm, he's probably going to pop the Kyloria, but I, I want to eat up the attacks in his hand. It means less to come back at me with, but he might just take it. He might have a really good hand and want to take it and just have a full, you know, blowout turn, which if he doesn't do Dominate, I might just predict it and throw stuff out. There's the Choke Slam. Yep, figured as much. If I can get a Mirror Guy... And I think we're going to end. Um, I think I'll tuck the billowing to get back in. Okay, there's a Fate for Scene. Not bad. Dust. Okay, I have the fan, so I can basically play this, maybe activate the Phantasm, dust up, threaten with the Chrome Eye. Bravo hit so hard, he popped the live stream. Oh, is the live stream all messed up? or? Oh, I'm seeing, yeah, a lot less viewers. Oh, did it, like, mess it up? I think it's not good. It could also be... Um, Current bit rate is way more than the stream bit rate of 14k. Yeah, I'm probably boomering this up. It's probably all the the issues that I have. Um, swinging at me with that. Okay, well we're gonna block. Shit, because if he's got a pummel, I think I'm okay with that. Because if he doesn't, I can fate for scene. And just block it. But he's probably going to swing hammer or something. Okay, well, fate for scene. I, I want to... We'll bottom that. I got to start putting on a bit more pressure. Um, Is he going to... I feel like he's just going to kill the Vincerakai. Like, he's got to. You've got to deal with Vincerakai. But then I at least keep Chromai. And I can at least hear uh, Doombreaker into Chromai. Um, or maybe Chromai first into Doombreaker. Because I don't really care if he pops that. Giga Chad things. Yeah, it's telling me my my stream's current bit rate is higher. Um, my internet sucks at this time of day. I'm going to probably try to stream um, earlier or later in the future. This was literally, I just got off, like I, I, I didn't even anticipate getting off of work when I did. Yeah, there's the Vincerakai, exactly. That's what you should do. At least I'm closing out the life total. I'm not, not doing as bad as I want. <sighs> I will say these long grindy games are quite difficult when you're trying to entertain an audience and do all this and okay, I think I yeah, because I don't have anything to do aside from Doom Breaker really. Or do I chrome eye into dust up Arsenal the Doom Breaker and try to save it for next turn? But I need to put on the pressure because he's just gonna f wait, how many okay, how many go against is he used? Uh one, two, three, four? Just four? I thought he used way more. Shit. Man, I thought he used way more. Okay, back dead again. Yeah, I, I think something's wrong with my Wi-Fi. I really apologize. I'm almost done after this After this here. I think that's going to be it. So I apologize that the end of the stream is shit in the bed. I think I attack with Chromai. Is this going to... Suggestion... It says my status is excellent, but it doesn't really seem to be... Okay, pass. Just gonna take it. Okay, and then we're just gonna swing with this, pitching this. Might pop it or just take it. It's probably gonna block because I can imagine he's just trying to trade me cards for cards. Starting to get where I'm losing my, oh, there's the crown. So he must have a bad arsenal. It's very obvious you gotta have a bad arsenal for that. He's gonna take three. Okay, that's really all I can do, so, okay. Probably just gonna block out and play a sigil. <laughs> I don't really think I'm gonna have much back. Uh, 
Oh yeah, definitely looks like the stream is dying. Um, says I have three people on right now. I think it's, uh, I don't know how to change the bit rate. Yeah, I apologize. Uh, you guys are gonna have to be a little patient with me. I, oh, that is not what I wanted to open. Uh, I wanted this back open. Yeah, it looks like it shit the bed completely. Ah, there's the dominate. Fuck. I think I'm dead. Wasn't able to get the right pitch stack or anything set up. Maybe I should have blocked a bit more. Got a little too greedy trying to set up my stuff earlier. Oh, wait, he's activating this. Okay, he's just trying to kill me here. Yep, there's the crippling crush. Dominate. Uh, I can block four, gain three, so I can gain seven and take <laughs> take six and basically still be dead. Um, I think I might quell here, make an ash wing, because I can't block with it all. Well, no, I'll have an arsenal. I can still survive this. I think I block with mm, Tomal Tie, because I really don't need it. Because he's going to rip my hand away. Oh, can I do this too? Yeah, because if he's going to rip my hand away, is he going to let me pass? Yeah, pay one. We'll pitch this. Then I'll activate this. Make an Ash Wing. Let the turn end. I'm at three. I can at least attack with Chrome Eye and then an Ash Wing. Eh, it's not really much, but... Oh, 12 viewers. Okay, you guys are back. I, I, I also want to say again, I apologize that the stream is shitting the bed. Um, again, I will try to do it next time earlier in the morning or later at night. Um, hey, Fluke, how are, oh shit, hey, how are you doing, Fluke? Oh, look at that, look at that Giga Chad. Look at that fucking Giga Chad next to your name. Good God, that looks good. I'm very proud of all those icons for my members. By the way, I have memberships if anybody wants to join that. Um, Fluke, you're missing it. I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> getting my ass absolutely reamed. This is just brutal. <laughs> oh... Bravo's dominates getting me here in the end. Yep, there we go. I think this is probably it. I think this is it. Yep, choke slam. How much? Eight. Yeah, that's gonna be game. GG. Can't block that. Block it with Chromai. Whatever. Still die. Can't even use the footsteps. I tried. You really should become a member, lads. Only become a member if you like me enough or a patron. I don't really care. This guy was. Eh, yeah, this guy was all right. Let's give him an up. Okay, um, Fluke, I guess uh, you missed you miss the rest of the games, um, especially after my stream was shitting the bed. I just don't know what you're doing. Like, what time is it over there? Isn't it, like, super early in the morning for you right now? Like, I mean, I can't say much. I'm up at 5 a.m., but I, uh, my Wi-Fi here is absolute garbage. It keeps, like, lagging and, you know, <laughs> for your Art of War blasphemy. Hey, hey, listen, listen, I don't like the card, but I don't think it should be banned. Actually, how's that video doing? Let me see. Let me, let me look at YouTube Studio here really quick. Let's see Let's see how that video is doing. It was doing pretty well earlier. Some of these videos lately have been doing quite nice. 8 a.m. Oh, okay. It's different. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. That thing, like, sunk like a rock. Oh, well, actually, not really. It's still doing really good. Just a few of my other videos had really bumped up, and this one slowed down. Uh, a bunch of comments I got to get back to. But, um, oh, thank you, Jonathan. Hey, that is actually really awesome. Um... Outfit three out of ten. Hey, come on, come on. I okay. What? <laughs> I'm getting a bunch of random people coming into the chat right as uh right as I was basically saying. You know, I'll stay around for a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna play another game of Talishar though. I've had enough of getting my ass. Actually, you know what? We are gonna play a game of Talishar. Fuck it. We're gonna join this game and we're gonna play a thing of Blitz. I'm gonna play my ah oh, shit. I'm gonna play my shitty uh symbiosis prism list that it, sometimes it goes burr and sometimes it just dies. So we're going to Vestige, uh, Goliath against this guy. We're just going to go super strong. Ooh, I'm going to go... I'm going to go second because I'm aggro. Yep, ready? Let's go. Let's do this. Uh, pretty much medium results with Bravo. How's Dromai treating you? When I play it in paper and I'm not trying to focus on uh, chat as well as... Uh, you know, playing the game. And I'm also playing, you know, again in paper where it's in my hands. I do pretty well. Um, Dromai... 
My main thing, as I said earlier, is I just don't have the reps in. And I played an LGS where, like, I've won about 75% of the armories because everybody's so new and nobody's, like, that into the game except for my one friend. Um, so I really just, I really want to start grinding games on Talishar to get those reps in so I can really improve. Yes, Jonathan uh, Bowers, which almost looks like Bowser. Yes, he uh, he knows what's up. So as you guys can see, as he joined, I've got, um, like, Chad icons for, for when I'm doing these streams. If you ever want to have those so you can... You know, flex on the flex on the Timmies. Um, I, uh, I I'm actually very happy with how they look. Um, I've really been enjoying going into Photoshop and working on like logo design and, and even for like streams and that. I actually would love to do um, for Talishar especially. I'd love to do like an overlay on this so I can cover up some of this. I can have things going on. This dash player. I don't know what's taking you so long. Did they disconnect? It doesn't say they did. I'll give him a couple more minutes. Out of curiosity, discrepancy in win rates of going first and going second. I, I think it, oh, um, okay, I'll answer your question first, then I'll get to Sir Lionheart. Okay, so I think it has to do with what your deck wants to do. So I'm playing an aggro prism deck here. I have like only a couple auras and it's mostly just heralds and, and CNCs, E-Strikes. I'm, I, basically my goal is to turn E-Strike or CNC into an illusionist card and then copy it with uh, Fractal Replication. And almost like 99.9% .9 of the time it doesn't go off. What is this? That's, uh, that's nice. Well, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll refresh for Blitz in a minute. <laughs> that just happened. Uh, but I'll, I'll chat with you guys for a quick moment. Um, so for me, again, uh, when I'm playing this deck, uh, it, it really just depends on your matchup. When I'm, uh, when I'm facing like five, for instance, you usually want them to go first. So they'll play their hand out. You block with everything. You draw up. And now you're at least on the defensive. Or, or sorry, they're, you're at least on the offensive. And now if they do block, they have to eat, you know, use cards out of their hand. Um, also... Sir Lionheart, absolutely happy birthday. I am doing decently well, feeling a tiny bit under the weather. I, I stopped smoking weed and have been trying to eat really healthy this year. So for the for the first little bit of, uh, for the first, last few days, I've been feeling kind of iffy, haven't been sleeping as well, but starting to get over it, you know, sugar withdrawal and all that. But I, I hopefully should be good. Yeah, Rip Sloop's internet, absolutely. Um, but I'm doing good. I hope you're doing well. How is your birthday going? I hope, I hope it's a good time. I hope my stream's not shit in the bed. So you're actually hearing me say this. Um, go eat dinner now. Have a good one. Uh, Angrid. I hope that's how you pronounce your name. Uh, Rip Sloop's internet. Absolutely. This is, I, I live in an apartment building, so it's, f it's like 4, 10 PM here. And in the afternoon, it, the Wi-Fi here is just abysmal. Uh, it's great at five in the morning. It, it's fantastic at five in the morning. Um, ah, oh, are there no blitz games? Come on, I want to get like one last game. Okay, you know what? I'm making a Blitz game. We'll just see if somebody joins in. Uh, if one of you guys want to join in, uh, thank you. I feel you on the cutting back on the weed. Absolutely. I uh, I was actually doing really good with marijuana right up until I got sick after going to Worlds. And I learned that if I'm sick, I get a case of the fuckets and I just stop caring. And I was just like, oh, I don't feel good. I'm just going to get some and just smoke some weed and, you know, help it help me pass through. And then, you know, um, I enjoy being high. Oh, this guy might scoop. This guy might leave. If he can't kill me in a very short period of time, this guy's dead as hell. I don't even think... I think I'll keep the Vestige because I do like Vestige. Um, I will go first. That's fine. That is fine, my friend. Oh, wait. You're going first. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want to go first. Okay. Play an Energy Potion. Pass. Activate Kano. Yeah. Do a bunch of Kano stuff. I only got CC and Commoner. Um, that's not bad. Yeah. Oh, oh. I guess for Swell Tidings. Holy shit. What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? I wasn't even paying attention. What is this? Five Arcane, Surge, if it deals more than five damage, create a Ponder. Um, I will obviously block three. We will pitch... I want to keep a yellow. Do I keep the War Tune? I think I keep the War Tune. I kind of want to keep a red, though, because I don't think he's got poppers. Or he shouldn't. And I take three. That's fine. We'll put the protection. Herald of Rebirths, too. I put him in here to return some of these things, and I think I'm taking him out. Okay, well, I didn't get what I wanted at all. Why, why does this happen? Why do... Why... Oh, this is the issue with playing the aggro build and you put more reds in. You get a bunch of reds. Um, okay, you know what? No, oh crap, whoops. Wrong one. That's what I meant to do. I hope people don't mind when you do that. Like when you just misclick. I feel like it's fine to do a simple misclick. Um, is it going to go in? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, let's poke with this. Have to worry about Art of War and Commoner. Ah, that's very fair. Yeah, that's very fair. Uh, we'll let it hit. 
And then we're going to attack with this, pitching this, because Vestige makes it pitch for two. And now he's going to play out his turn. Oh, he needs his arsenal. He needs his arsenal. Booyah, end the turn. So I've already threatened a lot. He's at seven. Put the yellow on top. Here's where you go. Oh, there's the eye. The card that actually... Um, so actually, while I've got chat here, while I've got chat here, do you guys want... Do you guys like the videos where I'm talking with my friends? Do you guys kind of enjoy that? I mean, we just we just kind of like think about the topic. We talk maybe a little bit, but then we just sit down, talk. Like that talk, the one about um, banning Artivore was like 14 minutes and I try to condense it down to keeping us on point because sometimes you go on a little tangent or you talk about, you know, you go on a point a little too long. Um, and I just, they're pretty easy to, to edit and to make. So I, I've been wanting to talk about the possibility of, um, what you calls it, uh, banning the fables because I've been seeing on Twitter, people talking about that. And I, I don't know. I, I think I like having these conversations. So I want to know if you guys like it. Also another question. If you've watched my, uh, rusted relic video game is up. You think so? Think I'm dead? I like the friends video. Cool. And if you watch my relic video, I did it where I wasn't even on screen whatsoever, but yeah, I think they might be going for it here. Mitra scolding two arcane deals four damage. Oh, you're right. Oh wait, it's three in total. Do I pay three? Cause I almost want to do, I almost, okay. I think I can just pay three and pitch this. I have three RB, AB. Okay. Because I want to attack with this and maybe arsenal this for later. So I think attack with this, pitching this, pass. I still have two at least and one. So I have at least three block. Fable ban. I really like them. Just wish an on foil would be printed. I kind of agree. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to finish. Uh, the relic video. So I did the last one where, because I want to do more. I've actually got a couple here and I'm scripting um, one where it's uh, why no one plays. And I also want to do like why everyone plays, just an al analyzing cards and kind of going over. Um, okay, we'll attack with a shield. And then, do I activate this? I almost feel like I should activate Prism. No, I think I'm, if I'm dead, I'm dead. You know, I feel like against Kano, it's like I, they either they do or they don't. It doesn't really feel like there's always a game to be had. Um, so I think I just, oh, now it's lagging like crazy. My stream's probably about to crash. Um, okay. So the, <laughs> the relic video, oh, if I do more, do you guys want me to do the green screen? Cause I decided to do it where I was just recording my voice with this microphone that I'm using here. Um, but I kind of like having be on the green screen. It made it more difficult to edit. Cause sometimes when I'm editing, if I'm just on the green screen, I'm able to just kind of zoom in on me and use that to fill space. Um, okay. What is this? One arcane, next deals an arcane, and it says deals that much plus one, so it's going to be going in for two. Yeah. I think I just, yeah, I'll just pay the two. No, shit. Yeah, actually, yeah. I don't mind if I lose one, because I want to be able to, to veiled. Play this, pitch this, pitch this into this. He might kill me. But I think I play this, pitching this. Is he going to kill me in response? And then I'm going to attack with the Herald, pitching this, floating two. I at least can activate her or, you know, and I think this is where he's going to have to go for some sort of win because eight dominate against Kano is, this is going to screw him. Is he just, he can't take it. He's got to try and kill me here, I think. I don't think there's any other option. It's either you kill me now with, uh, three or you have to at least deal me 20 or 21 no 20 um yep so if he just doesn't get it because he's not able to really set up if he's not able to get it i'm good i can't really do anything here so we're just going to keep it's probably going to draw a card looking forward to why no one plays any of the items from everfest video then oh hello manor oh geez uh nice to see you um yeah i uh, i thought about that those are on the list um, I think those are definitely on the list. I wanted to do Pursuit of Knowledge as the, as, as one of those videos, but then I remembered that Dozer had done it. 
he had done like a, an analysis. I might eventually go back to it anyways. Like I might talk about pursuit of knowledge later. Um, I think I'm just going to be passing for the most part here. Like he's got a lot of damage. He's got, he's got to be able to kill me here. Like this, he's got to be able to with all the resources on board. Like, come on, just do it. Just do it. Three arcane. And if it deals damage like a top card, if it's a wizard, you may play it. It costs X resource less where X is the damage. Oh, I can only block two. I don't have the resources, but I will block two. Maybe that's not the right one to do, but there's, ah, oh, there's an ether spindle. So I'm at 15. Can he deal me? Can he kill me? Because I can't block anymore. So it's all up to whether he can. Because if he can't, I win. It's just Roger, don't get excited. I, I, I like you though. I, I find you both very entertaining. Obviously, I think, like, ultimately, you know, Mr. Michael Hamilton is the absolute brains of the podcast, being the world champion and all, um, but I really enjoy, I really enjoy the back and forth that you guys have. Um, very good chemistry. Sometimes people do podcasts and it just ends up being kind of stilted and boring or, like, people just, their, their chemistry isn't there, but you guys, you guys have a good podcast. I do listen to your guys' stuff and I really like, I, I feel like I become more big-brained every time I listen to it, so I really appreciate what you guys are doing. Uh, and I appreciate that you're here. You're, you're gonna watch me probably possibly lose another game, which looks like it's gonna happen. Here's the Stormies. Is he able to do it? It's just, uh, I don't even care. Like this is the thing. It's it's at this point where it's like, yeah, it's 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 one thing to understand what another hero is doing, but at this point, it's like, what the hell's the point? Because I can't do anything. So it's like, does it really matter what I'm uh, if I understand what's going on when I can't even do anything anyways? Yeah, I think I'm dead. There we go. GG. You uh, solitaired me to death. I'm not even giving him a thumbs up. Kano is, uh, Kano does feel like uh, kind of a shitty hero. It's it's just one of those things where it's just kind of a non-game, you know, sometimes. It's like, okay, you solitaired me. Okay, you got me. That's it. Um, you were able to, to line up your numbers. Because um, especially in Blitz, it's like, what else am I going to do? Like, I can't sit there and try and, and big-brained every little play. Uh, because especially when he has that many resources, I feel like it's like, yeah, just, you just got to go for it. You either kill him or he kills you. But, and Big True at Flukenbox. He is, yes. Uh, Funder is better than Manor Podcast. Oh, Fluke, my dude. That's maybe fair, but uh, the Chad cast may have something to say about Funder. I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding by that about that. Or just kidding about that, by the way. Um, I, uh, I, I'll be honest, uh, one Saint Hung maybe had revealed to me that he, he would love to get more subs than Funder uh, in like a friendly way, obviously, not in like some mean, like, oh, we got to beat them. I don't think it's going to happen. I really love the Funder podcast. Absolute pinnacle, like top tier podcast, the best one in flesh and blood. Uh, the fact that you guys do it in person and you and Timmy, man, you, you guys have such a, a fantastic chemistry. Um, and, and I really love when you guys get going on things, especially that one time I, Timmy went off on, uh, you know, certain individuals that were kind of bro investors in the game. That was, that was fantastic. Um, so thank you everybody for showing up. I hope I wasn't too all over the place. I know I probably was. I try to, I try to talk and be entertaining while I'm playing and I don't want to, you know, have too much dead air or anything. Uh, man, or just past fun to this past. Whoa, 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 wait. Okay. Let me. Um, let me, let me check this. Uh, we're going to open up this over here and we're going to open this, but we're going to pull this over here. Uh, let's just check this out. I'm in our podcast. Uh, oh, it looks like you may have. Oh, and subs. Yeah. 768. And you've got 710. Okay. Yeah. Just a little bit more. Wow. Wow. Um, but Funder, I will say, I will say when it comes to podcasts, it's really interesting because I feel like people don't really subscribe to podcasts as much because they'll just pop up on your homepage, right? And then people will, maybe we'll be in LSS head office in a few weeks interviewing the staff live. Oh, that is awesome. Congratulations. Obviously kidding. Yeah, no, dude, if you're actually going to be doing that, that's awesome. Hey, look, it's me. Oh, look, it's, it did actually pretty decent. Not as, not as well as, as, uh, Hammer Breweries, but you know, I did pretty good. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I, I did pretty all right. Mr. Ribbis is dead. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Do you, oh, by the way, do you guys like... This is what I want to see. Do you guys like this uh, thumbnail? Because it's just catching fire. Stream is just catching fire. Can't quit now. Um, It's... 
I like this stream. I I'm gonna have to because I have an ar I have a, a an armory in a little bit in about an hour and a half or so. So or forty five minutes uh, about an hour or so. I don't know. I can't think. I'm, my brain's all over the place trying to manage all this. I hope I get better with streaming and more entertaining in that. But yeah, do you guys like the 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 big um beefy build instead of like the really uh, athletic? I went for uh like quite literally a strong man build for this, and I'll probably just be you know updating this type of thumbnail for things. So okay. Funder for driving around for work, pretty solid. Yeah, I um, I think Funder's a really good podcast, and I'm about to get a Charlie horse in the back of my knee. Oh, maybe I should have stretched before exercising earlier. I did a workout before I did this stream, so. But yes, I think I think I'm gonna have to close the stream. Um, I, I I've got to go get some things ready, and uh, you know, I also need to set up. I I have a bunch of cards in my draw my deck that are are curled, and one of them being an Eye of Aphidia. So I bought myself these like two way humidity packs. I did some research first, and they're supposed to they're Boveda the fifty eight uh, percent, and it's supposed to like keep whatever's in that like if you put them in a ziploc bag or a, something sealed, um, it keeps them at that humidity. And I've heard them very recommended for uh, what is it called? Uh, magic foils. So I'm gonna try them with some commons, and if it works and they they you know get flattened, I want to try it with my Eye of Aphidia. So just pro tip, I'll let you guys know if these work. Actually, I'll probably do a video on it, um, so you guys get this little intro. I'm gonna be testing this because I don't want to go to ProQuest with curled cards or have to like build a whole second version of Dromai just to play it. I'd like to play my shiny version. So, anyways. Thank you absolutely, everybody. And thanks again, Jonathan, for, for becoming a member. Um, I really appreciate that. I appreciate all the support from anybody, even just people watching, liking, all that stuff. I, I very much enjoy this community, and you guys are all absolutely fantastic. But it is time for me to end the stream. I got to get going and get some stuff done before the armory. So I hope you all have a very, very lovely day. Thank you, and goodbye. And now I need to figure out how I even end the stream. Do I do it over here? I think I stopped streaming. I think that's... You can see I'm a